we've talked about gimmicks and the real deal, right? So this is a cosmetic. This is not true skincare. This is nothing that's going to do anything to your skin long term. But I used to tell my patients and my clients when I used to do skincare hands on, you have your cake and you can eat it too. So if you're taking good care of your skin and you're doing the right steps to ensure healthy aging, then I'll give you this. <laughs> so this is an instant product. It uses natural minerals that create almost like a liquid glass technology when you apply them. So it's obviously in a solution. As the solution starts to evaporate, it usually happens between a minute and two minutes. Usually at the two minute mark, you'll have the full effect. You'll see immediate tightening. So whereas this skincare, you're applying it all over, this is just targeted. So this is just going to go directly on either fine lines underneath the eyes, the 11s, which is the corrugator, in between your eyebrows here, um, forehead lines, if you want to use it around the lip line or the nasal labial fold for a little lifting and tightening here too, then you can. So don't but, work on these lines, ladies upper lip? It's, it's not good for that, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it's yeah. There you go, de -wrinkle. So, it's best to, this is always applied last. So if you're, any skincare, any makeup you're going to do, this goes on at the very, very end. And really the key to this product is not using too much. Which one is this? This is instant facelift. That goes on last? Last. This is in the cosmetic category. So this right, is right, kind right. of like you put it on and then you're going to turn like Cinderella, you're going to turn into a pumpkin at midnight. It wears off after a while. But I, mean, I, I thought you put it on first and you put the makeup over. No? Well, you can experiment with it. I usually recommend last last because the, that when the minerals form, it's like a glue. It's like a binding glue that's holding everything tight. If you introduce moisture and oils, it's going to start to break it down. So I've seen people do it both ways, but I usually like to recommend very last because that dramatic effect that you get, if you're going to put makeup on top of it, the oils and the makeup are now going to start to break it down. Well, I don't have to use too much. You get a white film. And That's what I'm talking about. So literally the amount that you would use, can I open one of these? I just thought you put it on first because if you put your makeup on, you put it on what if you use too much and you get a little white now? So I'm going to tell you about that. So and I'm going to show you on. how okay. much. That's for one eye. And that's so you won't get a white stuff. Exactly. So, you won't use so if you're getting a white film, there's there's a couple different variables. Either your skin's really dry, you <coughs> moisturize properly first. You're using too much product. <laughs> so if you Let's do, see you over here. if you do, I'm gonna come right on around. Okay. <laughs> so pretty much, if you use the correct amount, you're not gonna get that white residue. No. Correct. No. Except for your properly one or moisturized two skin underneath is okay. the first variable. Not using too much product is your second variable. That's for one eye. So it's not like an eye cream application. Right. Totally different. So everybody's Okay. If you do get a white film, whether it was over applied, what you can do is take your finger, dip your finger in a drop of water, and then feather out the edges and you can blend it in. But I would almost start using less and less and less and less. You'll still get the dramatic effect without the white film. I almost feel like the less you, the, the less you use, the more effect you get versus the more you use, the less effect you get. And that's why it's kind of like you have to retrain people because we're used to slathering on creams and slathering on eye products and we always use too much. I put it this way. I brought in this product into a solo salon and I had a woman that walked in off the street was, oh my God, I saw the instant facelift because it's all over Facebook. You have a thousand different things. She had no makeup on. I put, I mean, and I didn't even use that much. that much. I would use, I would dab my fingers together and I would put it on both eyes. And I told her, I said, you know, at first you have to let it really set up because as it dries, you get more and more. Do you realize that woman left that solo lounge, went back, called everybody because she wanted to buy that product? So I mean, if it's applied right, it, it creates, and most likely a lot, of, you know who's your biggest client for something like this? 
that older woman that has the baggy eyes that does not like to wear makeup. A lot of older women get to the point where they just don't really want to deal. So that is really like the ideal candidate for this kind of product. You don't want to overwork this product and massage it in. Completely different from eye creams, again. So when you apply it, you dab your finger, just like Stephanie said. You're going to go against the fine lines. So if my fine lines are coming out here, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to use my fingers like a very light feather-like motion, right? So feather it, feather it, feather it, and then stop. Don't overwork it. Don't massage it. The more you massage it, you're actually breaking down the bonds of all those minerals. So the more mas you're massaging it into the skin, it's actually going to become less effective. So it's a very quick application. You're going to think it's almost too simple. Feather, 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 stop. Leave it for two minutes. Sure. I was presenting to cut and loose three, three, three salons, one of my number, number one salon, and I'm talking to him about something else. And that came out of my box accident. So I just put it on one of my eyes, and I started on with the meeting. And I said, which eye looks better to you in coral? So that I looks fantastic. <laughs> so I put it on the other line, and she ordered 40. There you go. <laughs> By accident. Bam, bam. 48. So it's an it's amazing good. product. It's also a great conversation starter. Yep. You know, people may have heard the retinol, yeah. they may have heard the vitamin C. Oh my God, you've got to see this. This stuff yeah. is amazing. It kind of gets you into the conversation. Good job. That's it. You're done. Thank you.